Welcome, this is lecture 5. We are learning 3D Studio Max and you are watching 5 Minute Max. In the last lecture, we have talked about uh, the Rotate tool, which is recited under Select and Rotate uh, button right here. Um, today, we will be learning Select and Uniform Scale. So, as usual, I'm just going to <coughs> Pardon me. Roughly create this uh, shape here so that I can demonstrate it the way I was doing for the rest of the two. And uh, something like that. And then something like that. Okay. Uh, let's go on viewport. Let's put them that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm chewing a bit of leaf, so my sound is a little different. You guys will see this. This is like an arrow, so. And there you, have, there you have it. So if I just like uh, maximize my perspective view and try to take this one's little towards the center using the W, which is select and move, which we have already learned on class one, lecture one. This is the icon for scaling. This one didn't came, so we select that and bring it as close. Maybe like this. <clears throat> so this is what we are uh, going to learn about in this lecture, which is select and uniform scale. So almost two and a half minutes has crossed. Within five minutes, we have to like learn a lot. So let's see what we can about this tool. So anything that you want to scale in 3D space can be scalable using the scale tool, which is selecting from scale. So if you click on that, this different type of icon is gonna appear. It's like an it's not exactly an icon, but like this is the three lines indicating three different axes will appear as exactly as when you press W you will see them but they, it has like some sort of cup in between and there's like outer ring so let's see what happens when you press setting for scale and try to go up and down see the entire thing is scaling up and down so if I multiple select them just dragging my mouse and create a rubber band I can do the exact same thing here. Now, select uniform can be done in different ways as well, which is like if you notice the yellow part right here by the mouse changes to this direction, and if I click and drag, it drags in one axis, only one axis, which is said it's dragging towards and x, of course, but like one part of three axis it's dragging towards. We can do the same thing with Z and Y axis. Look, it's differently scaling. And we can also drag it like this, which is Z and Y axis. It's always better to practice scaling everything uniformly. And if you keep it pressed, it will say you can like scale things differently you know there's three different options over there so that's how you scale things and um, that's we have learned we'll learn something new the next lecture and I'm not gonna disclose what, what we will be learning but I'll see you on class 